Oh, look who finally decided to show. I was beginning to think you invited me here for the express purpose of wasting my time. You know some of us have to study, right? So I think you took so long that the time on the study room is almost up anyway. So... I, I don't care about your sports ball groups. Being the star player doesn't mean you can't be late. Especially in this rain. Especially if your coach is as demanding as you say he is and... Uh, okay, I, I don't care. You're here now and I'm listening. What do you want? Oh, and please, for the last time, if this could have been an email, I'm going to stop meeting you like this. Swear to God. Mm -hmm. What could possibly be too important for an email? Yeah, what do you mean? Uh, the expense reports are already filled and they've been dropped off. Yes, I signed them. Sam already talked to me, she's got it. Besides, I'm not in charge of that, so why do you want to talk to me about it? Uh, uh-huh. Sure. Yeah, okay. So, cut the ship and tell me why you're really here. <laughs> well, I could keep dancing around it, but your face, when you get surprised, it's... <sighs> and I have to study. Just spit it out. <laughs> oh, no, don't tell me you're serious. Oh my goodness. No, bury the hatchet? <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh yeah, I know we're always at each other's throats. I know it makes things harder for you. That's kind of the point. <laughs> yeah, last meeting was a train wreck. It, it was hilarious. You looked so disappointed. It was so delicious. It is so easy to poke holes in your ideas. Don't act like you're offended. <laughs> I see. So you want to know why I'm not helping you? You didn't get the memo? I really shouldn't have to spell this out for you. Oh, okay, fine. While it may lead to more productive meetings concerning the rest of Council, I personally don't find value in being amicable with someone whose ideas have made less of an impact on this school than your umbrella has on your tardiness. Getting a Save the Turtles art installation on the quad does not count as a real change, come on. No, nor do the parties you trash the student union with. <laughs> You and I both know the Planting Trees Initiative never got the funding it needed, even with both of our best efforts. Look, nothing you've done is going to last through a year after we graduate. You know that, right? <laughs> oh, honey, I'm sorry for being blunt, but it's in my job description, did you forget? I thought that's what you wanted. Or would you rather I baby-proof my responses for you? <laughs> Shut up. Make me. You need my input. I'm doing you a favor. Nobody else on student council is going to challenge you like this because they don't know how to lead. And that's why they aren't president. <laughs> You've got it all wrong. I don't shoot your ideas down because I don't like you. I shoot them down because they are so horribly planned. If administration got wind of any of the fantasies you keep pitching at council meetings, they would never take us seriously again. No, I mean it. You want to overhaul the undergraduate credit system? Which <laughs> has been working for decades, which would by extension require an entire restructuring of our graduate programs, which, as far as I know, you haven't even begun to think about. You want the school to switch out the vendor that keeps our cafeterias functional, a company that has reevaluated and reaffirmed every single year, and you don't have a single viable alternative. And you want to turn the Kent building, that asbestos-riddled, leaky-shingled, rat-infested health hazard of a storehouse, into a dormitory. You tell me which of these ideas sounds sane to you. I mean, I agree that 
some of the underlying issues need to be addressed. But you are well and beyond gung-ho about this. It's not feasible. And that's exactly the problem. You are too idealistic for this position. You can only see the best in a situation, and it's naive. It's not real life. Your popularity may have propelled you to the presidency, but some of us had to work to get to where we are. Does that make any sense to you, or has your privilege finally caught up with the... <sighs> okay, I know. I know you're up for valedictorian. I know that. Sure. Yeah, and I know you're organizing the charity functions. What are you trying to say? Look. Just because I don't agree with your plans doesn't mean I don't want to see you succeed with your ideas. Then, then why what? Why have I been so mean to you? Why haven't I been supporting you, saying, yes, president, of course, president, sterling work, president, like everybody else? I've been fulfilling my duties as vice president just fine. <laughs> don't be an idiot. Come on, it's obvious why I've been acting like this. Okay, sure, you're right. There's a bit of jealousy involved, I won't deny that. But you know it's more than that, right? I can't support you. You made me feel like I was nothing. And that's not really something you can rally around, is it? But I guess that was my mistake. I can't make you say what I want to hear. Did you really think that there wouldn't be some form of retaliation? At this point, I don't really care if it's immature. I'm still doing my job by telling you why things aren't working, so I don't see the issue here. <laughs> um, newsflash, y yes you did. You turned me away. And I'm not going to push it when you've already made your answer clear, so just let me be bitter. Walk away. No, you truly don't know? You're even more oblivious than I thought. Well, then allow me to be blunt again. You hate me. From before our terms even began, I tried to be in your corner. I really did. But I can't control myself. Not with you. I can't stand the thought of you hating me. My bad. N no, stop playing dumb. Do you really not remember? You know exactly what I'm talking about. You know what? You're the reason I ran in the first place. Because I knew, without a doubt, that you would be president. That's just who you are. And I wanted to be by your side. So when I came up to you asking to run alongside you, I put everything I had into it. And I know you saw that. That's why you picked me. I landed exactly where I wanted to as vice president. I thought we were close when we were planning things out. Everything was going so well. All for you to... It, it doesn't matter. It's in the past now, and I won't make you say it. Just leave it alone. I hope you got what you wanted from asking me to come here. Why are you still pushing? What do you want? God, the letter. The letter that I left in your binder with the acceptance speech you'd written. Come on. I poured my heart into that letter. And you ignored me. I could have taken a no. I can live with a no. But you pretended like nothing happened. And that hurt me more than any other response you could have given. It was like I didn't even matter to you. And that's when I realized you just used me. Because you knew I could help you win. And as soon as it was over, you dropped the act and you left me to figure everything out by myself. I beat myself up for weeks over it, you know. And then when it was all over and I leveled out again, all I really wanted after that was to make your life harder. And it's actually been really easy. You know, one of your biggest flaws is your ambition. You think so big that you don't consider all the drawbacks, the problems, the attacks that other people will make. 
it's one of the things that I adore most about you. Look, why do you still care what was in that letter? You've clearly shown it doesn't make a difference to you. Are you trying to humiliate me? Because you already won. I, I don't know what else you have to gain here. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't give me that. I, I know you got the letter. I know because I, I found it in the trash. You threw the whole goddamn binder away. Like you were trying to make a statement. And you know what? I guess it worked. Why am I dodging? I, I'm dodging so hard because if I say what I really mean, it becomes real. And my motivations are way too petty to be real. Contrary to popular belief, I don't like being petty. But something about you brings it out of me. And you know, it stays like this, where I don't know if it's because I'm in love with you or if it's because you're so damn stubborn all the time that... No, I, I didn't say... No, 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 no. Don't, just... Don't talk to me right now. I'm sorry. Fuck. Why are you doing this? Are, are you happy now? I like you, okay? I, I've liked you for so fucking long, and I trusted you. I trusted you and I thought... No. No, let, let me go. Stop this. Stop hugging me. I... You don't want this. P please don't do this. Please no, don't. I can't... I can't take it. I, I, I've been hurting for so long. You don't know how many emotions I've been fighting for so fucking long. It, it's, it's been months. It's been so long. This is all I've wanted for months. And, and you ignored me. You couldn't even give me an answer. Please, what did I do wrong? Why do you hate me? Why are you so heartless? I, I thought you cared. I honestly thought you cared about me. You, you can't just pretend that we're friends again. I, you hate me. It's not okay. 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 It's not... No. Stop. Just stop lying to me. You don't like me. You don't want me around anymore. Just say it. Just give me some fucking closure, please. What? No, that doesn't make any sense. You threw it away. You threw the binder away. You read it. You read the binder. I know you did. You didn't lose it. How could you lose it? No. Well, how, how do you explain the pulling away? You, you shut me out. When I needed you, when I was vulnerable, I needed you. And it was like you didn't even care. For so long, I missed you. The, the stress. What do you mean? I. Wait. No, I, I, I didn't. I never realized. I. I didn't think it was. No, you, you thought I was leaving, didn't you? You wanted my help. All the, all the way back then, I just left you by yourself. I, I didn't, I didn't realize it. It wasn't like that. It didn't feel like that at all. I, oh God, no, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't know. I, I wasn't there for you. No. No, no, I, I don't hate you. I never hated you. I, I tried really hard to. I tried to convince myself that you were 
someone capable of, of just throwing me away. Like, it felt like you did, but I never believed it. I, I know you, and, and that's not who you are. I don't hate you. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I never meant to hurt you. I, I couldn't... I started and I couldn't stop. I... Wait, no, don't, don't, don't let go, please. Please stay, just a little bit more. Please, hold me. How did we get like this? We used to be friends. And now I... I keep tearing you down. It's... It feels like a habit now and... I'm sorry. Hey. I'm here now, okay? I, I wanna help you. I want to be here for you, like we planned. You're amazing, you know that? I, I did everything I could to be a nuisance to you, to keep you from getting anything done. And still, every time you see me, you're so full of optimism, you still smile at me. And I love that about you. You're so strong. You don't back down. Hmm? Friends, I... Hey, I, I can't. We can't. We can't go back to being friends. I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I mean, I'll, I'll never... I, I can't keep acting like the jerk that I've been. I can't do that to you anymore. But no matter how hard I tried to stop loving you, it, it only made things worse. I can't be friends with you like this, with these feelings that I have, I can't just ignore them. I'll help you. I'll help you, I can help you with all your ideas, I really want them to happen, I do. And I think we can do it together. I, I can't, I can't be your friend like that. Not for a long time at least. I, I hope you understand. Wait, don't, don't let go yet, please. I, just a little more, please. I, I don't want to. Mm. Why did, did you just kiss me? Mm -hmm. Huh? Back, back to your door, am I? Wait, really? That sounds so amazing right now. I. I've wanted to cuddle you since you were elected. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, okay. Yeah. Let's... Let's go. Hey, do you, do you think your umbrella is, is big enough for the both of us? I, I've kind of forgot my... Hello, it's Tanuki. Thank you so, so much for finishing the audio. Um, if you did enjoy, feel free to let me know in the comments or leave a like, or if you have any requests or suggestions or anything, just leave them down there too. But 
I just wanted to tack this on to the end of the video to say that I appreciate you and you are incredible and amazing and take care of yourself, please. Um, this one took me a little bit longer to record, but I'm trying to figure out like a regular kind of maybe a Monday or Friday upload schedule kind of thing. I'm not too sure, but I'll figure something out. Just check back in a few days and there will probably be another video. Um, anyway, I thought about calling this one a presidential debate, but I feel like that would probably get confused for something else. <laughs> so anyway, I still don't know actually what I'm going to call it yet, so you'll know before I do. Before I do? Or I guess I'll know before you do because it's not uploaded yet, but sorry I'm rambling. Anyway, have an amazing night and sweet dreams, and I hope to have you back soon. <laughs>